Hey sweetie, I'm going to teach you how to make your bow. Got me a ribbon. Wired ribbon is the best. It's your best friend. It's the best one to use. Got me a pipe cleaner, a red one to match the bow. Make your loop on the end. And squeeze it in the center like that. tie your pipe cleaner midway because you're going to use this to tie the whole bowl together so you want to do this part in the center and grab it around twist it spread the pipe cleaner like that leave your ribbon on the spool it kind of helps keep it in one place then you're going to start folding your ribbon accordion style back and forth. I make this part the center so I kind of leave it up to start like so come back to that other side like so so you got a loop now on each side and just keep doing that back and forth. Make it even. So it'll be about the same size. You can make them in however big you want. If you needed a really large one, you can make these lo uh, longer to stick out further if you need a really big bow. And I'm going to do about five loops. This one right now has one, two here, and then one over here, because I'm not counting this middle one. And then you got another one started over here, because I'm already coming back here. So now I got two on each side, and then come back down here, keep going. I might run out of ribbon. So now I got three, three, coming back across, four, four. So now I got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just seeing how much more ribbon I got left. I can still make a couple more. Okay. So, when you got your five loops made, just come in here. There's your center. Pinch it, the fabric together to help you tie it. Take the pipe cleaner. And twist it at the bottom. Now you got the pretty side on this side, but on this side, because you did it, we did it accordion style, it's not double backed, so you have to turn this side inside out, and to do that, 
just go in there and start working it back out shape it just kind of here turn it this way just kind of pull that back out So the pretty side is out towards you. Okay, now you just finish out. Come back in here and twist the uh, twist them all out until they're all facing back out. I'm going to go ahead and get these others turned back out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm getting these all turned out on the last one here. There we go. Okay. And now they're all... same direction pretty side out okay now you cut your ribbon and I just cut it off at an angle there you go just like that at an angle and then you just start turning these loops spreading them out on to the pipe cleaner to help you do that. You just make it look pretty. Make it look round and pretty. Shape it out like a Christmas bow. Yeah. You have a pretty little bow. This is why Graham's taught me how to make them. She was a left-handed one, so I had to really learn watch her because it was hard to watch her with her left hand because it got me confused because she was always doing it the wrong, <laughs> doing it the wrong way. But in her mind, her, it was right her way because she's left-handed. It wasn't right my way. Okay. All right, and there you go. And you just use the tight pipe cleaners to tape it down on the box, like so. Just tape it underneath the bow on either side, tape it down, and you can just twirl the ends or curl the ends up underneath there to hide it. Or you can leave it out and just curl the little end up to give it a little accent, a little sparkle. The 
just take a pencil and you can curl it up like so to add a little sparkle in there when it's under the tree or you can just twist it and tuck it underneath voila there you go baby Merry Christmas I hope that helps if you have any questions let me know